September 18, 2011's Cliff Potts. The occupation of Wall Street is entering its second day. Mainstream media, for the most part, is ignoring it. Some of the local stations in New York are covering it, but it's hard pressed to uh, find the video feeds from those from that coverage, and it's also difficult at best to find the uh, written reports coming out of NBC, CBS, ABC. CNN, although uh, over the past 24 hours I have seen the reports. Um, I believe it was Huffington Post, and if I've got that wrong, I apologize on the front side, who is poo-hooing the occupation. And the reason why there's so little coverage of this is that everybody seems to have come to the conclusion that this is some kind of anonymous slash internet slash Twitter uh, wannabe protest. This, however, is not true. There is a video, you'll find it in my favorites if I don't post it on your page, that uh, shows you what the first 24 hours were like. It's a video uh, five minutes long. So far, it has been peaceful. Uh, last night, uh, just under 300 demonstrators stayed the night in uh, what is now being called... Uh, Liberty, uh, Liberty Plaza. The hashtags for this are, as always, Occupy uh, Wall Street, all one word, of course, and there are two more. The second one is Take Wall Street, and the third one is Our Wall Street. Most of the activity seems to be filtering through Twitter, and uh, Facebook is falling down on the job just as much as the mainstream media is. I don't expect a whole lot of coverage at this point on this activity. I know from my own experience in Dallas, the media did everything they could to ignore us because they have a vested interest in appeasing those who buy the commercial airtime that pay their salaries. And television makes them very, very large salaries. And for them, capitalism is fine. But for those of us who fell on hard times, they want us to shut up and go away. I don't know how that is going to happen. If this occupation fails, and tomorrow is for the most part crunch time, then the only thing left Based on history, <clears throat> based on statistics, the only thing left is war. The only question then is what kind of war and against who. They call that the Zeitgeist manifestation. I'll let you look into that one as well. This is Cliff Potts. I am, of course, in Chicago, not New York. And I do thank you for your time. As always, may your God go with you. And to the men and women who are occupying Wall Street right now, solidarity. Bye-bye for now.